Which football club currently sells the most replica shirts in the world? Well, an educated guess would be Barcelona, Real Madrid or Manchester United. Paris Saint-Germain merchandise has become stylish and ubiquitous, so you might have thought it would be them, but no, and this might surprise you, or not, it's Bayern Munich, and by quite a distance. This is why. The most recent global shirt sales results are from 2021, and they provide a startling contextualization of which clubs sell what. Manchester City, PSG and Chelsea have all enjoyed recent rather than traditional success, so their rankings are much as expected. More of a surprise, however, is the fact that traditional powerhouses with deep and developed international fan bases lag behind a team from a less popular league who haven't enjoyed the visibility of a transcendent star. Nevertheless, with 3.25 million units sold, Bayern Munich lead the field. And the first point to note is that this is a recent development. Back in the autumn of 2014, the Daily Mail released a report ranking average shirt sales between 2009 and the end of the 2013-14 season, and with two interesting revelations. The first was that first place club Real Madrid were only selling an average of 1.58 million shirts per year, which would be good enough only for fifth place on 2021's list. The second is that Bayern themselves were averaging fewer than 1 million shirt sales a year and were in fourth position. The broad conclusion is that football shirts as a whole are being bought more widely. In Bayern's case, in moving to the top of the rankings, they've also more than trebled the number they sell. And there's more than one factor influencing that growth. First, and most obviously, the club have experienced an unprecedented level of domestic success. In 2022, they won their 10th straight Bundesliga title, a period which also included two Champions League wins. Performance on the pitch is and has always been an effective driver of commercial performance. As has popularity, of course. Back in 2012, at the start of that run of dominance, Bayern's membership stood at just over 230,000. In early 2023, the club announced that figure had exceeded 300,000, making Bayern the world's largest sporting organization by volume of members. According to further data released by the club, in the 10 years between 2008 and 2018, the number of Bayern Munich fan clubs across the world grew from 2,500 to over 4,400. Fan club members also nearly doubled from 180,000 to nearly 351,000. Collectively, the club has more global fan clubs than any other. It also has more than any other European team in North America, which is another surprising yet true detail. So, North and South America have been a big part of Bayern's commercial success and those vast shirt sales. As has China. Bayern toured the region in 2017 and have long been popular on Douyin, the Chinese equivalent of TikTok. In 2020, the club were recognized as the most influential sports club on the social media platform, and while not the largest during that period, they were the fastest growing. During that year, the club also organized official watch parties for the 2020 Champions League final in 40 different Chinese cities, which offers a vivid description of the club's breadth of appeal. Now, being associated with the club's success is fundamental to that popularity and by implication to shirt sales. But there are other factors involved too. Bayern have long dominated German football in a way that's unprecedented in the modern game. That success has also occurred within the constraints of the 50 plus 1 rule meaning that the club's traditional and regional associations haven't been diluted by the patronage of a sovereign wealth fund or oligarch. Bayern Munich remain very much of their region and as part of Bavarian culture, and that is attractive in an increasingly cosmopolitan football world. It's also one of the reasons why the club's sponsorship agreement with Qatar Airways has been so controversial with fans. In addition to which, the current period of success has also been built around a core of long-serving players, Manuel Neuer, David Alaba, Robert Lewandowski, Joshua Kimmich, and Thomas Müller. Before them, Bastian Schweinsteiger, Oliver Kahn, Philipp Lahm. For those buying shirts, perhaps with names on the back, the Bayern team has often been stable and permanent. Its historic figures, particularly Sepp Meyer, Gerd Müller, Franz Beckenbauer, and Paul Breitner, are also true icons of the sport, providing a bedrock of authenticity that so many players from the past have graduated to leadership or executive roles post-career also accentuates that perception. Not that it's an exclusive club. 
Bayern's success in the modern era has often been enabled by great players and coaches born outside Germany, which has naturally helped their global appeal and profile. So, that convergence of factors explains the popularity. Understanding how Bayern Munich capitalise on it in the form of shirt sales is simpler. They enjoy the support of one of the world's largest sportswear companies. Adidas are not only the club's kit manufacturer, they're also a part owner of Bayern Munich's football division. Like Alliance and Audi, Adidas hold an 8.33% stake in the club and also a seat on the Bayern supervisory board. Deepening the relationship is the current president, Herbert Heiner, who is also a former CEO of Adidas. Added to which, the company also has its headquarters in Bavaria. Now, the value of that integration is obvious and can probably be best seen in those shirt sale figures. Adidas is the largest sportswear manufacturer in Europe and the second largest in the world. It has a worldwide distribution network that Bayern naturally extract tremendous benefit from. It's a key multiplying factor which has seen the club's success on the pitch translate to another, less likely victory away from it. If you like this video, please consider subscribing to the channel. The Athletic is home to some of the world's best sports journalists, including David Ornstein, Daniel Taylor, Ollie Kay, Amy Lawrence and Rafa Honigstein. There are journalists dedicated to each Premier League team and you can try it for free now for 30 days. See the link in the description.